Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome back to Stonehearth. Now last week I took a one video look at a few mods for Stonehearth and I wanted to do the same today. So this looks pretty weird, right? This is the canyons biome. So I thought I would check this out. Additionally, I've got another mod turned on here um, that involves changing of seasons. So hopefully that's gonna work out for me. I've sped up time so that seasons change every month instead of three. We'll see how that goes. And then additionally, I do have a couple other mods on that I actually had in last week's video. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll have a link to that down in the description below and at the end of this video. But those basically involved the store when you first got started, which I've already used and giving us some kind of more options there, um, as well as one called Better Stockpile. So I'm using both of those as well. So let's pick a location here. We've got all these little valleys and everything. I kind of want trees. So mostly I'm concerned about that. We can't really do much with the water anyway. So I'm kind of thinking like, like um, even here might not be that bad. There's really not a whole lot of room. But we could maybe climb up, you know, ladder up and build some places along some of the edges or something. I'm not really sure. Um, maybe here. We've got a bit more space and a good amount of trees. Let's do that. Okay, now obviously I'm panned way back off the map here. I wanted to show you this kind of cross-cut section at the edge. Give you an idea of just how much... Um, elevation we have to work with here. I'm going to kind of pan around. Now, the location I chose, I was kind of looking at the spot over there um, that I originally had in mind, but we can obviously move around within the area that we've selected. And this actually looks really cool. Uh, lots of trees. It's, they have this like lake and space around it. You could do like homes around this. So I think this could be pretty cool. But look at that. Look at this map. That's pretty cool looking. Now, obviously there's challenges here. Not a lot of flat space. Uh, if it's going to spawn things to attack you, it doesn't have a whole lot of room to do that. When I, when I say it, I mean the game. <laughs> so we could have stuff to spawn right on top of us. But let's go over here. I think I was looking at... Uh, maybe it was here. There's a good amount of trees there. But anyway, I, th I think I like this spot. Let's go ahead and get our flag down. And I think we're just going to put this... Um, Maybe like down here, almost at water level. Let's do that. And then we're gonna call this, um, we'll call this Weems Ridge. <laughs> Weems Ridge, there we go. Okay, I've set a number of tasks all over the place. I wanna get everybody busy. There's a number of things being moved around here. Plants, we're gonna chop a lot of wood. Um, up here, I've actually set stone to be dug out of here or rather earth to be dug out, but there is iron there that I want to get after. And then that'll be actually stored up there. So uh, stone and metal up there, food and plant life here, wood here, and then I think just everything else here for now. Uh, but one thing I wanted to mention, this is going to be just a one video look at this mod. I just wanted to play around in the canyon world for a while in this biome. I wanted to see if I get the season to change. I'm really interested to see that. And... Um, yeah, but, but, I want to do another run. I did an eight episode run a while back, the forest one, I think it was about two weeks ago that one finished or so. Um, a number of you have asked me to do another run, which I really want to do. I want to use the island biome that I used last week. Um, I think I really want to do that, but I kind of want to wait for them to do another update to the game, and that could be a few weeks. But, in the meantime, if you guys could do me a favor, a number of you have asked to have your names put in the series, and I said, you know, maybe next time. I don't know when I'm going to do it, but yes, probably next time. <laughs> so here's the way you guys can kind of get a jump start. If you guys follow me on Twitter, I'm at the Weem on Twitter. Send me a message there and say, hey, add me to Stonehearth and give me your name there. Basically, I'll take names from Twitter over the next week or two or however long it takes, you know, maybe upwards of three. I, I may not wait that long and I may just go ahead and start a new series anyway before the next update. Um, but I will take the Twitter names kind of first. And then once the series goes and people start putting them in the comments, then I'll start kind of using everybody as they come in. And I think I'll randomize that a little bit. So not necessarily first come, first serve, unless you do it through Twitter over the next week or two. Okay, I had them start building a house and then realized, wait a second, I think I kind of want to change the materials, or at least the way it looks. I'm going to actually go ahead and pause this really quick. Actually, you know what? No, let's let them continue running around here. I'm going to take the tiny cottage. I want to build it. I'll put it back where I basically had it. The corgi would move. Move it. <laughs> move it, pup. Um, something like this. But I want to edit this a bit. Um, and I don't know, you know, maybe we go with something really light. I'm not sure. This biome, at least so far, actually come to think of it, I think the island one took a little bit. Maybe not. But anyway, the, the island map had its own tab um, additional to this that had um, some options. This one does not right now, but... 
Hmm, I don't recall offhand if the other one just took a little bit before it showed up. Like, maybe we had to have our carpenter. Maybe I'll hold off and um, assign people their jobs first. I haven't done that yet because I wanted to get the basics down. Maybe I'll do that a little bit and see if that tab appears. Okay, we're trying to get the carpenter to level 2. You can see I'm building a carpenter's place just for fun. And um, I have this uh, white, I think that's ash material. I thought I would do a custom building. Um, I had this idea. I'd seen it before. I actually thought it might be part of this biome but i'm still not seeing um this tab show up so i'm kind of thinking i may have to do something myself um but just kind of this little adobe looking structure i don't even know if i can make this look right <laughs> i just remember seeing something like it and i want to make it small um and i'm trying to think about that as a bed can go in there yeah i think that's fine uh maybe we'll go nine by nine it's eight seven okay we'll go ten by ten Let's do 10 by 10, um, that kind of floor. Let's do the walls at this material with maybe the same column I did there. So kind of the same look, I guess. Something like that. Why not? Um, and then we want to throw a roof on only, I don't think I'll do this kind of roof. Is that, hmm, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do like a stone roof, and I was kind of thinking it would just be flat. Um, it won't let you do zero though. Is that a thing? Can't do zero in there, huh? Okay, so I think I'll actually like draw the roof on. You have to do that as a floor, I guess. Um, like this material. You can always back out and undo this. Um, not quite the right color or something like that. Is that? Hmm. I guess it doesn't quite match. This is probably fine there. Um, okay, and then what I want to do is I want to do some blocks on this. Um, let's see. You may know the look I'm going for already. Um, something like this, and then... I always forget what these are called. Crenellations? Is that right? I didn't quite space that correctly, did I? <laughs> um, sometimes I do that, so I'll do two and then one. So this this isn't going to look right, is it? This is going to look like this little mini fort. <laughs> Not at all the look I should be going for. But this was the idea, was to basically get like these guys sticking out here. And see, it's going to be like uneven. That doesn't quite look right, does it? Let's go around kind of two sides here and just see. I don't know. It's not horrible. It would work. I mean, it'll, it will function, right? I think it'll function. And maybe you don't do these top bits around here. I don't know. Maybe what I should do is go um, look at an image online and see kind of what they did there. Is this is kind of the look I was going for. I, I, I'm just not sure. I'm not sure I'm getting <laughs> the desired effect. Okay, I looked quickly online and I redid things a bit. And I think this is a bit closer to what I was looking for. I actually did change the size too. Gave it an uneven width, which I think helps a lot. So there we go. Very, It's flat, no crenulations up top. And uh, I got the post there. Got the color, I think, about as close as we can get here. Uh, so yeah, I think that's how we're going to go. The door, not quite in keeping with the theme, but it's what we have to go with. Now, if you hadn't seen my previous video, the one from last week where I actually was experimenting with some mods, I did mention at the top of this that I was using better stockpiles. And I thought I would just kind of show you what that was all about if you didn't see that video. So basically, I've got a stockpile here and typically the base game gives you the option to filter by I think four or five categories only. It kind of spreads everything into the you know one of those five categories. So here really just kind of pairs it out even more, giving you more options. You can still individually select things as you could uh, with the base game, but I really like this. A whole lot more options. So anyway, I just thought I would kind of pop that open and show you. Let me switch that back to wood. <laughs> I'm basically getting the wood moved over there, although we are burning through quite a bit of it right now. Now, you know, ideally, I think in a setting like this here in the canyons, what you're going to be doing is going for clay. Um, unfortunately, while I have dug some of that out, I don't have a person to do clay yet. I'm realizing that with the mod Traveler's Store, um, at the opening of the game, you actually have a number of things you can buy in the base game. Traveler's Store gives you a lot more options. I probably should have bought the tools for the... Um, 
pottery guy. <laughs> I always forget the name of that guy. But um, anyway, so I don't have that. Um, it's not a job I can assign right now because I don't have those tools. But um, now that I'm bringing these guys up, I think I can set one of these. Yeah, let's change you. Aha. Get you promoted to a mason. Because I just made the tools for that uh, not long ago. So we can get them working on stone. You can see up here we've got all kinds of stone here. If I take the slice here, you can see we've got even more in here. And not just stone, but really a ton of iron. Because there's a lot of iron up here. You can see we have even more. I've never seen so much iron before. Look at all that. Lots to work with. Well, I think it looks pretty good. I've got three of these going here, and I actually just designed a new one. Let me show you this guy. If I go to custom here, Weems Adobe Sleeping Hut. <laughs> Let's go ahead and build this. There you go. You can see it's actually a bit wider, and inside here it has five beds. So this will be good because our people have not been sleeping very well, I don't think. <laughs> Uh, I'll be honest, I haven't been paying close attention to their happiness when it comes to sleep, but this should help. Um, it's kind of awkward placement that I did there, putting these, I kind of just put them here. I thought I'd put another small one here, maybe I still will, or I guess I could just line this one up here, something like that, I don't know. It doesn't leave a whole lot of room, um, and I don't know if I want things all lined up perfectly in some kind of grid, so... Anyway, maybe I could just kind of stick this over here. Um, maybe I would rotate it around. It's a bit thicker than the smaller ones are. Um, I do like the idea of kind of putting, you know, doing some tiered stuff here. So I could put this up here, maybe set back a little bit. Um, let's do that. Let's just put this up here. So let's take let's take a look. Yeah, that could be cool. We could do another small one here, something like that. Yeah, let's do that. Finish build. Sure. Okay, you can see the uh, villagers here just going a little nuts here, running all together as a group. <laughs> it's a good thing. Teamwork, right? Uh, I dug out a road here, which they haven't put in yet, and I used a slightly darker brown. So we'll see how that looks. And down here I thought, well, I probably should do the roads the same color. That was the initial idea, but then realized that might look kind of weird on this color of earth down here. So I thought, you know, maybe just like could try to do a darker shade. I don't have an orange, so I went with this kind of darker brown, and up here it's more of a lighter brown, so we'll see how that goes. But that's what I did for now. Probably see how that looks here shortly. I added another building up top, and then you can see this guy coming in. So this one's going to be pretty interesting. Um, there you can see the look of it. It's basic. it's one building, but I had it actually um, go over the top of the pathway here. Got a little archway here on each side, so I think that could look pretty cool. Stairway right here to go up top, and then I can put things on top of it. I'm not really sure what yet. I just thought it might be kind of a cool look, something a little bit different. I know it's dark and hard to see, but you can see some little holes popping through here. This is kind of cool. Let me go inside the cave here. So basically, I had dug these uh, one by two windows, but they were too deep in the wall, uh, two cubes deep, two blocks deep. And they couldn't reach the second one, so I dug out this area here, and sure enough, as you just saw, they popped through. This is something I've been wanting to do. If I back out of here and actually turn the slice off here, you can see this is the canyon wall. I know it's a little hard to see right now because it's night, but let me zoom in here. So there you go. You can see inside of there. These are now windows. I had actually thought about doing this before on the previous map uh, where you had the, the larger stone mountains. I thought, you know, you could probably do some pretty cool fort stuff in there. Let me actually lower this back down. Um, we've got these fires. Let's see, do I have um, more of these? Yes. Uh, a little confession here. I never know how to pronounce that. Brazier? I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put one of these. Maybe if I had like Another one of these would be cool. Like I put this one here. I can actually just move this, I guess. The idea is to kind of get some light, you know, in these windows um, so that they're a bit more obvious. But anyway, like I said, I always liked the idea of doing this in like a large stone mountain and having multiple floors and have it just be inside um, and use that as like a fort and then build some homes like just outside, for example. So a nice secure location. There you go. We can see that a little bit better with that one going. Yeah, that's kind of cool. 
So check this out, I've got a little plaza going. This is something I never really did in my uh, previous runs to get some kind of open area. I'm not really sure about the road here. I might make this like a little bit wider. I guess it fits through there pretty well. Anyway, I might do a little bit more in here, but you get the idea, kind of a, have this open area here. I've actually moved the cook down here, some of the food, more storage for food. So some of that cooking can get done here. And then the idea is this is the cool place to chill, relax, and eat, of course. So I do have some things being made right now. It looks like one bird bath is done. I think I have another one. Then some tables, chairs, stuff like that. So I thought I would put these down somewhere in here. Didn't realize just how small this was gonna be. <laughs> Maybe I'll put two of these right next to each other in the center or something. And then, like I said, I'll put some chairs and tables down. Basically a cool place to gather, eat food, relax, take a break. Look at this guy hanging out eating. I think this turned out pretty well. It's kind of cool at night when you got the lights. I have a light in every corner. I got these two uh, tiki torches, tables. Yeah, came out pretty good. Also got a lot going up here in the cave. I've got the forge down. I have some metal being made. We're kind of finally getting cranking on that. Um, right now I'm kind of waiting for... Who is it? Lolly? Once she hits four, I can make her a pottery person. <laughs> <laughs> I should really figure that out, right? Uh, let's see. Lolly, change jobs. This is called what? Potter. Okay, just a potter. So I want her to be a potter, but she needs one more level. Um, I think I have her going on some things. Let's take a peek. Okay, she just finished. Um, keep trying to give her stuff to do so that I can get that going. Um, I do need chess. Stone is one of the things that was held up on a little bit. Um, that's why I set some more mining. Looks like this is just about done though, so I could probably get a little bit more of that going, something like that. Cool, so we're coming along here, and um, once I can get some metal going, I think I can uh, do some other cool things. You can see I popped in two more windows in here. Now if I was getting real fancy, I could do blocks around these, make it really look like windows. Not really sure how they would reach those to build them, come to think of it. I guess ladder up, right? Hmm. Okay, I might do something there. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, I know it's getting dark here, but I thought I would show you how things are coming along because it looks cool at night. <laughs> I've got lights going around here. Obviously, we had the stuff in the plaza, but check this out. I've got the oil lamps up top. They're pretty cool. I just kind of put them on top of these homes. I don't know why, <laughs> but I threw ladders up here. They climbed up and placed them. So anyway, it's looking pretty good from a lighting standpoint. Now, I took this building that I had designed and I put one down here at the end and then I edited it to include a little wall here. And then it has one on this back corner as well, a little hard to see. So that I was just kind of imagining this is almost like a gatehouse. And I thought, you know, I should have done it where this was a double door that walked through and it could be the entryway here. And it got me thinking about this whole canyon setup. It's long straight runs like this. So you could do buildings like this that basically are gatehouses at like each of the ends and also act as like homes. I have two beds in here. So yeah, I kind of like that idea. I think it came out pretty good. Do I have any idea what I'm doing here? No. <laughs> I just felt like messing around. I don't know. I think it's okay. I was going to actually do a second floor, but once I started working on this part as the doorway without actually using a door, I thought, you know, maybe this will just be kind of open. Uh, the way I did the corners down here, I thought I could do kind of the same here and just make it almost ruins like you know when you see the corners of ruins I think you know what I'm talking about <laughs> anyway I'm gonna keep going with this but I think um, I think this could turn out kind of cool I'll probably put some chairs up here maybe some fountains things like that some flowers um, let's just do two we'll do something small on this one something like that I think that could be cool. And then and then I can just kind of furnish this however. Um, maybe I could come along here at different points and do, you know, maybe here I could do something like that. I don't know. That's not, it's not horrible. It's not bad for kind of an open area here. Maybe do one in the back. But anyway, yeah, I think, I think we're just about ready to wrap things up here. Look at that sun come up. This place turned out pretty sweet. I've got a couple, uh, decorations down here kind of wigging out a little bit might be because the sun's coming up but anyway <laughs> sorry distracted yeah I've got some pots and tables and everything I even have uh, just inside if I kind of hide the walls moving some of the cooking stuff over chest to hold food and everything so we've got almost like a kitchen area here a place they can 
walk across a little bridge, hang out, and get some food. Well, that should just about wrap it for this run of Stone Hearth. I had a lot of fun checking out the Canyon mod. I hope it gave you guys some good insight into how it is set up, what it looks like, and whether or not you would enjoy exploring it. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. I could use with a few more trees, <laughs> but it kind of makes sense, right, for the canyon to not have that many. I'm looking forward to trying some more uh, biomes and some more mods. There's really not a ton left on the list to try. Um, I'm hoping some more are going to be coming, and I will be exploring Stone Earth again once the next update comes out, doing another series. As I mentioned at the top of this, please do hit me up on Twitter, at the Weem, if you'd like your name to appear in the next run that I do. I'm going to be picking from there first, and then the comments once that series gets started. I want to thank you guys for watching, as always, and I'll catch you next time.